Welcome to this tutorial in which I will be showing you how to install the Galacticraft 4.0 which has recently been released, I think like two days ago. Um, there are a few things we're gonna need to do and first off I'm just gonna show you that I have a clean .minecraft uh, folder now for the ones who knows a bit how it works. So as you can see there's nothing special happening right here, this is just the vanilla Minecraft which I can close right away. So there are a few things we're going to need, um, which is Minecraft Forge to download, um, yeah, to be able to play the mod that you have installed and we need the mod itself, the files of course. So let's just go ahead and um, click on uh, download recommended and then I'm going to download the installer because that's the easiest way to do it. Alright, so that's like done right away and then we have um, the Galacticraft files, but I'll show you how to get there. Um, Alright, so you get the McDoodle 8 site and it says Galacticraft right here. Just gonna click that and then here download. This will show you the page I was on at the start. So. Um, right now the three promoted ones and the latest version for Galacticraft are both the same. They all just say 4.0.0, so oh, they say .105. So let's just go to the promoted ones right now, so um, yeah, that will make sure it works, there are no problems in there. And we're gonna need to download all these files. And you can't have them load at the same time, so I'm just going to do it one by one. But it doesn't really matter. Alright, yeah, it, it might say that there's uh, something wrong with the files or something, but just ignore it. There's nothing, uh, nothing wrong with it. And if you click uh, the download on all three of the files, it won't load the seconds. So it will be only loading one, and you'll have to wait all the seconds anyway. Alright, so we get to warning again, and the last file right here. 4, 3, 2, 1, alright. Download. Alright, and it says a warning again, but there's nothing wrong. Um, alright, so next up we're gonna drag all these files we've just downloaded to our desktop, so we can easily access them later on. It doesn't really have to be on your desktop, but just make sure you are the one who knows where they are because you will need them later on. And alright, so if you have them like I have on my desktop, you are going to open the Forge installer and um, yeah, make sure install client is selected. Um, whether or not Mercurius is selected doesn't really matter, I'm just gonna leave it there. This should all be going pretty quickly. It will say successfully install Minecraft Forge in a few seconds. Alright, yeah, so there we go. Successfully installed client profile Forge for version Forge 1.11.2. As you've done that, you're going to open Minecraft Launcher and as you can see right now, it has a little arrow. And if you click on it, you can select a Forge profile, which uh, says the version for Minecraft below, which is 1.11.2. So I'm gonna press it and press play. And now, we'll, we'll, now it will be loading all the uh, Minecraft Forge files. Yeah, this won't take too long either. Alright, though, there we go. As you can see, um, differently from at the start when I showed my uh, vanilla Minecraft, you can see it says mods loaded right now. And by default, this says five mods loaded and five mods active. This, these are just uh, the files from uh, that you get from the Minecraft Forge. And it probably will say four if you don't click the Mercurius thing. But again, that doesn't really uh, matter too much. Alright, so... Now we're going to be adding the mods to the Minecraft uh, folder. So you can go ahead and close Minecraft and go to your search bar in Windows and press present sign, app data present sign. 
This will show you a folder uh, called uh, present sign app data present sign as I just said or it will say roaming and it will both just lead us to the roaming folder and yeah then the first folder right there is dot minecraft which you'll have to open and right now in dot minecraft it says mods and the mod, mod folder is created when you install minecraft forge um yeah we don't have any mods installed yet so the folder is completely empty but we're going to drag all three in there all of all of the three galacticraft files and what you're gonna do right now is go ahead and open minecraft again and yeah again make sure you have the forge profile selected because otherwise the mods won't work all right so it will be downloading the mods again and right now you can see it's uh, saying like seven out of seven mods instead of uh, five which it said before all right yeah so eight mods loaded it says right now because we've added three files to the game I'm going to make a quick, uh, quick creative, uh, yeah, super flat world, just to be showing you um, that the installation worked. I think I'll have to switch my screen in a bit, but or don't I? Yeah. All right. One second. Alright, so there we go in Minecraft and right now you can see it has two pages with with uh, item files and Yeah, so as you can see right here there are a lot of new uh, Yeah items that you can create um, with the mods There are a lot of uh, ores and uh, yeah stuff and I think Alright, so they didn't add any rockets, I think. Yeah, there were three tiers before. But when you click on which control was it? On M, you can see the uh, the worlds that you can go to. And in the latest update, they added Venus to the mod pack. Yeah, but of course you'll need a um, rocket to go there. And you can click on... Mars and asteroids and overworld and when you click on the overworld again it will show you a moon right there which you can also go to with a th tier 1 rocket which I think you'll be have you will have to make uh, first with a tier 1 rocket you can also go to uh, to a space space station that you can create yourself but I don't think you can uh, unlock any of the other planets uh, with it. But yeah, that was uh, that was it. I hope you'll be all right with installing the uh, the actual mod. Um, if there is any, uh, yeah, if you have any trouble with installing or something, then you can just, um, yeah, you can just. Uh, all right, I can't open the other map right here. You can comment it below and I will help you out with installing the actual mod. So yeah, that was it. Thanks for watching and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you'd like to see more and like this video. Thanks again and see you later.